Well, George, we thought in the stand possibly the worst performance since you joined the club here this evening. Uh, nothing seemed to go right for you. No, um, it definitely was, I think, our worst performance. You know, I think we uh, set ourselves up plenty of times to get some points and we just failed at the last hurdle with the execution. Why that is, I'm not 100% sure, because I thought we prepared well this week. I thought we were in a good spot, but um, a lot of the things that have been good for us the last few games weren't tonight. And they had a very tight defensive squeeze on you as well, hard to break down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think you know we, we effectively just put all the pressure on ourselves. Um, I thought Quinn's just played a simple, disciplined game and stuck to it, and you know kept giving us the ball back effectively, and and we kept giving it back to them, but in better positions, and, and they they took control of the game. Would it be fair to say they didn't have to create any of their own points, really? No, I, don't, I think that's the probably the most um, upsetting part of the evening. Is as I say, I thought we worked our way in and created some good opportunities and, and let ourselves down and, and to be fair to Quinns, every time the ball bounced they were down our end and took the points almost every time. And even after that revival at the start of the second half, you seemed to lose a bit of shape, people didn't seem to know what the game plan was, that didn't see any clear direction. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about that. I thought it, I thought actually the, the game plan wasn't too bad. I thought we'd put ourselves in position to score. I think if we'd held on to the ball four or five times, we would have scored tries. And we literally dropped the ball and, and it all falls away then. And uh, as I say, Quinn saw that, took advantage of it, picked the ball up and, and took points for themselves. So um, it was, there was no lack of work rate or fight, which is obviously something we've um, been priding ourselves on. And that, that was good, but we've got to be able to do that and execute. That day at the office, Things just didn't happen. It's just one of those things, is it? One of those days. Disappointing in front of a crowd here. Yeah, disappointing, obviously, because it's the first time we've got people in the door. And yes, yeah, it is a bad day. You've got to move on in sport quickly and solve problems. And, um, you know, the, the players are very honest, and, and so are we as coaches. So we just had a little honest chat there. We'll have plenty of honest chats this week, and, and um, you know, we'll ask some big questions of ourselves and, and see how we bounce back. You have got that extra time to prepare for the Bath game, which always means a lot to Gloucester supporters. Uh, that's helpful, I guess, because. Do you feel you can remedy these issues tonight? Yeah, as I say, I think the things that went wrong tonight are the things that have been going well for us. So um, why that's happened, I'm not sure. And, you know, again, we'll investigate it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bad day, as you say. And I, I can't really uh, put my finger on it right now for, for what reason. Feel you're still with a sniffer qualifying for the Champions? Oh, yeah, we're still in the fight there, definitely. I think, um, you know, tonight was a big game for, for pushing us on for that. But... That's the nature of the game. You, you know, you have a bad day and, and it's so competitive in this league that it slips you right back down.